Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about various types of hemoglobinopathies. So, to before going to various types of hemoglobinopathies, we should aware what is hemoglobinopathy. Okay, if there is structural change in heme or in the change in polypeptide chain synthesis leads to a condition known as hemoglobinopathies. Okay, hemoglobinopathies two types congenital or acquired. Okay, so in that table you can make out so congenital like structural hemoglobinopathies because of alterations in amino acid composition of a globin chain because of mutations and defective in synthesis of globin chain thalassemia if there is absolute deficiency in synthesis of globin chain that is known as thalassemia okay because of that resulted hemoglobins will be like hemoglobin s hemoglobin c and hemoglobin e and thalassemias too if there is a defect in uh, synthesis of beta chain that is known as beta thalassemia if defect in synthesis of alpha chain that is known as alpha thalassemia so acquired is like toxic exposure when you expose to the toxic substances like uh, carbon monoxide okay or sulfur or uh, uh, like what to say carbon monoxide carbon dioxide so meth hemoglobin sulf hemoglobin and carboxy hemoglobin these are the derivatives so which are all the deactivated forms of hemoglobins okay so abnormal hemoglobin that means what what do you mean by abnormal hemoglobin abnormal hemoglobin is nothing but the mutations which are that has happening in the genes which code for globin chain so we are all aware globin chains are nothing but proteins how proteins are synthesized proteins are synthesized by protein synthesis from DNA to RNA, RNA to protein, right? So if there is some mutations in the gene, okay, there is defect mRNA and uh, defect mRNA codes for defect protein. So the same way, these mutations leads to abnormal changes in the protein chains of uh, like globin chains leads to abnormal hemoglobin production. So, and the production of these abnormal chains can affect the formation of biological function of hemoglobin. Such hemoglobin is called as abnormal hemoglobin. When biological function is altered due to mutation in hemoglobin, that condition is known as hemoglobinopathy. Okay, when biological function is altered due to mutation in hemoglobin, that condition is known as hemoglobinopathy. And coming to the types like congenital forms of hemoglobinopathies. Okay, so thalassemia you talk about first. Okay, thalassemia is a group of genetically transmitted disorder of hemoglobin synthesis due to lack or decreased synthesis of alpha or beta globin chains. Again, it is of two types. If there is a defect in alpha chain, okay, that is known as alpha thalassemia. If there is defect in beta chain of uh, polypeptide chain of globin chain, that is known as beta thalassemia. Because the synthesis of one globin chain is reduced, there is re uh, relatively excess synthesis of other globin chains. These globin chains may participate in cell causing hemolysis resulting in hypochromic anemia so thalassemia causes hypochromic anemia the name of this group is to say diseases which are comes from greek word thalas means c because the disease occurs more commonly among people living near the mediterranean sea and types as i mentioned alpha thalassemia and uh, beta thalassemia so alpha thalassemia where alpha chain synthesis will be reduced or defective and alpha chains are coded by four copies of alpha globin genes and the alpha thalassemia results from genetic defect in one or more copies of alpha globin genes and it is characterized by either decrease or total absence of synthesis of alpha globin chain and alpha thalassemia is of four types silent carrier type of alpha thalassemia is only one of the four copies of alpha globin gene is mutated they do not show any clinical symptoms of thalassemia so they are known as silent carriers and alpha thalassemia triad two of the four copies of alpha globin genes are mutated they usually have only mild anemia and is not fatal okay and hemoglobin h is like four copies of alpha globin genes are mutated three of the four copies Okay, they have moderately severe hemolytic anemia and hydrops fatalis. That means all four copies of alpha globin genes are mutated. This is lethal condition. Most of the affected are still born or die soon after birth. So out of four types, out of four types, what are the things to be remember? Out of the four types, the final hydrops fatalis is a dangerous one compared to 
साइलेंट कैरियर टाइप और अल्फा तलसीमिया ट्राइट और हीमोग्लोबिन हेच ओके सो एरलियर थ्री फॉर्म्स आर माइल्ड सिम्टोमैटिक बट फोर्थ वन इज फिटल इफ द बेबी इज बोर्न ऑल्सो एल डाई सोन आफ्टर द बर्थ एंड कमिंग टू बीटा तलसीमिया द सिंथेसिस ऑफ बीटा ग्लोबिन चेन इज इम्पेयर ड्यू टू जेनेटिक डिफेक्ट इन बीटा ग्लोबिन जीन्स बीटा ग्लोबिन जीन्स आर कोडेड बाय टू कॉपीज ऑफ बीटा ग्लोबिन जीन्स एंड इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय डिक्रीज और टोटल एबसेंस ऑफ सिंथेसिस ऑफ बीटा ग्लोबिन चेन्स द बीटा तलसीमिया इज ऑफ अगेन ऑफ टू टाइप्स द बीटा तलसीमिया माइनर एंड बीटा तलसीमिया मेजर द बीटा तलसीमिया माइनर इज अदरवाइज नोन एज बीटा तलसीमिया ट्राइट ओके and one of the two copies well, that means beta thalassemia trit or beta thalassemia minor one of the two copies of beta globin gene is mutated out of two only one is mutated and it known as heterozygous heterozygous state the presence of one normal gene in the heterozygous allows enough normal globin chain synthesis so that affected individuals are usually asymptomatic okay the individuals may be completely normal or has mild anemia okay but in case of beta thalassemia major where it is like homozygous state okay both genes which was got that means beta globin synthesis genes mutated thalassemia major uh, leads to severe anemia they regularly need blood transfusion okay bone marrow transplantation has uh, recently been invented as a remedy and the next one is sickle cell anemia or sickle hemoglobin hbs okay sickle cell or sickle cell anemia sickle hemoglobin that is uh, represented with the term hbs s is a uh, like a small letter sickle cell anemia is genetic disorder which is caused by production of an abnormal hemoglobin known as sickle hemoglobin so this change i'll let, let you know and this takes place especially in beta globin gene the mutation which is taking place in beta globin gene okay the mutant beta globin chain of hbs has alternate amino acid sequence we are all aware beta chains are nothing but protein chains polypeptide chains and these polypeptide chains are made up of amino acids so we are all aware alpha chains are made up of 141 amino acids and beta chains are made up of each uh, beta, beta chain is made up of 146 amino acids right so in this the 146 amino acid okay one of the amino acid has been replaced with the incorrect amino acid okay we will see now so what is that amino acid so glutamic acid residue normally present in the sixth position of beta chain of hba which is replaced by valine residue as a result of mutation in beta globin chain okay so you see here so normal hemoglobin has got glutamate okay glutamic acid but in case of mutation okay this glutamic acid at the sixth position a beta chain of hemoglobin a replaced by valine so it this small change okay small replacement of one amino acid leads big uh, changes and causes mutation and leads a condition called sickle cell anemia okay so it's one of the important uh, mcq question also so in sickle cell anemia which amino acid replaces glutamic acid so you should answer valine okay and the glutamic acid which is polar in nature replaced by non polar valine so it generates hydrophobic contact point called sticky patch okay and outer surface of beta globin chain this alteration markedly reduces the solubility of deoxygenated hemoglobin okay deoxygenated hemoglobin s when hbs is deoxygenated the sticky patch can bind to the another deoxygenated hbs molecule this binding causes polymerization of deoxy hemoglobins forming insoluble long tubular fiber okay the insoluble fibers of deoxygenated hemoglobin s are responsible for deforming of the red blood cells which look like blade of sickle hence the name disease okay is known as blade of a sickle so that's why uh, this form of hemoglobin is known as sickle cell hemoglobin and it causing anemia known as sickle cell anemia you see here the difference diagrammatic representation hemoglobin a and hemoglobin s this is a shape okay and here it is like sickle type so it leads to sticky patches so that the group of hemoglobin s they stick together and they will make a patch okay so fiber formation you see here otherwise because of the proper shape so one rbc to other rbc will not join okay that means the hemoglobins are not joined so here what happened 
the polymerization of deoxyhemoglobin s molecule and forms tubular fibrous structure straight line they will be like uh, they are adhesive to one to the other you see here this is a proper shape of sickle red blood cell and sickle red blood cell lose water and become fragile and have much shorter lifespan compared to normal cell because normal lifespan of rbc is like 120 days but this sickle cell has got only 17 days leading to lysis of red blood cells and results hemolytic anemia and sickle cell anemia the more serious consequence is that small blood capillaries which are in different organs become blocked by long abnormally shaped red cells and this interrupts the supply of oxygen and leads to anoxia okay that means oxygen deprivation which causes pain and eventually death of the cell ischemia of the cell so sickle cell anemia and sickle cell triad what is the difference between sickle cell anemia and sickle cell triad sickle cell anemia is a homozygous disorder in which the individual is inherited two mutant globin genes one from each parent okay and it is characterized by chronic hemolytic anemia tissue damage and pain and increases susceptibility to infections such patients usually die in their adult age what is sickle cell triad Sickle cell triad is a heterozygous state where individual have received the abnormal mutated beta globin gene from only one parent. Okay, sickle cell anemia means both whatever the uh, abnormal mutated beta globin gene each one from each parent. But here mutated gene will be received from only one parent and have one normal gene. They do not show any clinical symptoms and have normal lifespan. And persons with sickle cell triad resistant to malaria caused by plasmodium falciparum why because i'll tell you the difference uh, i'll tell you that significance the parasite spends obligatory on rbc as the sickle cell lost its shape this uh, plasmodium falciparum okay which is not survive on the sickle cell okay so the sickle red blood cell have shorter lifespan than normal red blood cell the parasite cannot complete its life cycle so that is a major part so normal rbc is having 120 days lifespan whereas sickle cell has got only 17 days so the plasmodium falciparum the malaria causative agent which has to which require more days to complete its uh, life cycle that means active healthy rbc required compared to the sickle cell okay so that plasmodium will not survive for a longer time on sickle cell so that's why the people who are sickle cell anemia they are resistant for malaria hbc or coolis hemoglobin uh, this is uh, other the type of uh, hemoglobin okay so where the glutamic acid portion 6 in beta chain is replaced by lysine so in case of sickle cell anemia what we said uh, sickle cell rbc glutamic acid replaced by valine but in hbc okay the glutamic acid replaced by lysine the red blood cells of people with hbc do not sickle however crystals of hbc may form within the cell both homozygous and heterozygous individuals of the disease are known this disease is characterized by mild hemolytic anemia. Clinically, heterozygous individuals are asymptomatic. HBM. So, when compared to the adult hemoglobin HBM, there is a mutation in histidine residue of either alpha or beta chains. We are all aware histidine residues are there and the distal end and the proximal end, two histidine residues. So, in case of this alpha and beta chains, distal and proximal ends, histidine is the general one. So, in HBM, this histidine is replaced by tyrosine. So, in place of Histidine, if tyrosine is there, that hemoglobin is known as HBM. Okay, and moreover, this HB in HBM, the ferrous that means iron which is in ferric form, not in ferrous form. And this letter M, okay, which signifies that affected chains are in methemoglobin form, that means ferric hemoglobin form. So you see here in the diagrammatic picture, the proximal histidine of globin chain replaced by uh, histidine replaced by tyrosine. Okay, so which makes this hemoglobin non-available for oxygen binding so that's all about various types of hemoglobinopathies thanks for listening thank you